Hey guys, welcome back to the Expert Strategies, right? Here with the Expert, and this is Epic Battle number two. Uh, no, Epic Battle number one, uh, part two. Woohoo! As you can see, my Sonic Decimator is being unpacked while Killers is just standing there doing nothing. My Chopper VX are in the distance, and Nick Dude has a vacuum imploder. Oh no! This could mean dooms, or could it? And. My scout is carefully placed outside Scott's base. Why? I get to see what Scott is doing from afar. The only problem is, uh, since my scout is forced to be there, I can't really see much. All I can see is how his economy is doing and if he's defending. Or if he's bringing units in that general direction. But Scotty had... No, Scotty. Uh, Saw Forever had his um, stuff sorted out and he had uh, plenty of IFVs. Speaking of plenty of units. Here are Chopper VX's. Woot. Ah, yes, the classic Chopper VX spam never seems to stop working for some reason. And there you go, two Sonic Decimators for a price of one right next to each other, which might not be a good thing. And you'll see why it might not be a good thing in just a moment. As you can see, Nick Dude has a pretty darn balanced force. And he's got an engineer. That engineer is going towards that little house. And he's repaired the bridge. Which can only mean he's planning for an attack on the main island. Uh oh. He's going to get rid of our sonic decimators with his perfectly balanced force. And his base has no anti air apart from that one bullfrog. Ha ha. Here come the choppers from the east of his base. And he did not see me coming. He was probably thinking to himself, Okay, okay, gotta get my units across the bridge, gotta destroy that. Those are so I can as fast as possible. I don't want to be in the receiving end. Fair enough. But then he sees me and I'm like, Wait, I'm under attack. Where from? Oh, oh no. Yes. With this, um, this obviously meant that I had advanced rocket pods. Uh, advanced rocket pods really do help in this situation. Especially for choppers because uh, they're doing an extremely good amount of damage. And speaking of um, being worried, Kirovs are now going towards the Sonic, Decimator, Sonic Decimators, which might not be a good thing. Uh-oh! But look, my choppers go to attack his super reactor, or one of them to try and take out his power supply. It takes it out, but it also takes out most of my air force. Boo. But the good thing is, as the air force crashes, some of them crash near the nearby buildings, which means they actually do good damage near those uh, crashed buildings. Whatever. You, you know what I mean. By the looks of things, Nick Dude has reached Killer's Sonic Decimator and is attacking. And Killer's coming in with choppers. To save the day. Bang. I see that um, we're going to need more choppers to help out. So I transform some of mine and move base to help out as well. While, meanwhile, at Nick Dude's base, my units are going crazy. Now I'll try and take down his second uh, super reactor. And while that's happening, um, Nick Dude's units are getting taken down pretty darn fast now and all he has now is an apocalypse tank but look Sora Forever has flanked us from behind with Apollo fighters uh oh but as soon as that apocalypse tank is down Killer does the right thing and transforms his units I have to wait a second because I'm a fussy 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 git and so I don't because those jet tangos does do the job really really well now, Kirov's heading over to the Sonic Decimators, and while that's happening, my last Chopper VX, which is heroic and repairing itself, is attacking Nick Dude's construction yard on its own. And I can't believe this, but I think that Conyard is going. Yep, the Conyard is, has been destroyed by one Chopper. Wow. Yet again, the construction yard was seriously damaged by those two super reactors. 
Um, that's exactly why if you're playing as the Soviets, you need to be extremely careful where you build your super reactors. Because if they explode, hell can break loose in your base. As you can see, I try to run away and try to gain back some health, but nope. Won't allow it. Now the Kirov's coming. We can see that they're coming, and we're like, uh oh, we have barely any plans. Um, oh, we're probably going to use our Trop of the X's again. Now, check this out Killer has a transport and has transformed it into an IFV. Now, this IFV is obviously disguised as one of Saw of Forever's IFVs. But then, if Saw of Forever had used surveillance sweep and saw what Killer was up to with this IFV, he would see this. This would prove that that IFV is not an IFV. It's riding on water. Wow. <laughs> an IFV on water. Lovely. Oh no, Kirov's using their thrusters to try and get there faster. My choppers are moving towards Nick Dude's base when they see them and they're like, Huh? 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 And so immediately I'm like, turn around. So they turn around. They're ready to help out as Killer sends in the strikers from his end. My choppers come at them. They transform into strikers and attack from the back end, attacking the weak armor at the back. Killer using his strikers plus his jet tangos to take out those Kirovs. We're trying our best. They are going down before reaching our sonic decimators. So even if they do drop, the only thing which they're are gonna drop if they have a chance to and uh, well they are gonna drop but the only thing we're gonna damage if they can are the strikers which he didn't even hit anyway oh no it's the water riding IFV again haha <laughs> and here's Saw Forever who's making a sneaky air force of Vindicators down at this base and has a few, couple of a couple of uh, Apollo fires of that my scout is still up there and uh, can still see what's going on by this time I could see that he had IFVs and I was like, oh lovely. And now my chopper VXs are destroying the bridge once more. And now the bridge is destroyed. It's smooth. But oh no. Nick dude has a secret bullfrog underneath the bridge. What am I gonna do? Pwn it. Proven. Right. Let's continue on to the base, shall we? where all he has is one bullfrog, no power, no construction yards, and no chance. But that's just me, because you can still you can still get a good chance, even if your main construction yard or your... just in case your construction yard goes down, doesn't mean you don't have a chance. It just means you can push on even faster. And as you can see, those choppers are coming straight in. Got rid of that bullfrog first, now we're dealing with that wall factory, and Vindicator's got shot down by Killer there. And I'm like, wait, did I just see a little explosion in the air? Uh, I didn't think so. Okay, time to attack an apocalypse tank. Dang it, da dang it, da dang. There it goes. Moving on to a refinery now. This moment in time, I didn't know he had an airfield, which would really, really penalise me if he made MIGs. And oh no, I'm being attacked from behind by Apollo fires, and I'm like, quickly, 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 destroy that so I can move out. And I transform, forcing him to leg it. Haha, <laughs> sneaky. But oh no, Killer's done an engineer rush. Ah. Uh. Killer with his mad engineer rush has captured two of Sora's airfields plus one of Sora's power plants at that. But he Sora has sold um, all his buildings apart from his refinery to get some extra peacekeepers and deal with those engineers. Damn. Now my next target is going to be that airfield. Why? Because airfields can make MIGs, and MIGs is evils to my chopper VXs. But looks like we're going to be concluding part 3, huh?